Hi, I'm Ben at Art Factory and we're back, it's a brand new day and we're working on the paper mache bowls again that we've made out of newspaper. So, these have been sitting out for a day, they've been in the sunshine here because it's been a nice day, it could be in a dry cupboard. So, I'll pick this one out of the mould, just carefully making sure that it's not stuck down to the plastic. And then, when you take it out, you can see it's got the shape of the bowl with the ridges and it's got a little bit of a structure to it, but it's still very flimsy and thin. So what we're gonna do is give it a second coat. I'm gonna put it back into the mold. I'm gonna peel this one out too, the other one that she'd made. You can see a similar thing. It's got the shape to it. It's got a very rough edge, but we can trim that afterwards. I'm gonna put it back into the mold. We're gonna mix up a little bit more paste which is gonna be some water and glue this time, just water and glue. So put a little dash of water and some glue. So mostly glue actually, more glue than water. And we're gonna mix, 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 mix. We just wanna make sure there's loads of glue in there. We're gonna mix them together and we're gonna do just the same as we did yesterday. You take the strips, you dip them in your mixture, just take off the excess moisture like this and lay it over your bowl. Okay, and smooth it down. Okay, and you get it all nice and smooth this time. Pay a bit more attention to the detail of it because this is gonna be our last coat. I'm just gonna do it like a star again and just gently press it down and make sure it's all covered. So, we're covering over with the last bit of layers. Make sure you pay attention to the edges, make sure you pay attention to the detail of the edges because this is gonna be the shape of the bowl now. You want it to have some strength all the way across. So I'm just wrapping these last bits around the edge. Gotta cut them a little bit shorter. If they're too long, they crease up. We don't want creases. Okay, once that's all done, done hers too, we're gonna to set them in the sun to dry again for another day. and you can smooth down any loose bits. The bowl has been outside, it's dried. The second coat is now dry, crisp, and we're ready to paint our bowl. So it's got this nice form to it. The edges are still rough. I'm gonna trim them off now quickly, and then we're gonna give it a paint. So it's completely up to you what design you're gonna paint, and it's up to you what sort of edge you wanna to give to your bowl as well. Some people might like to curl the edges round. You might even like to do one more layer to get a, a, a nice curled edge round on it. I'm just going to trim mine off and I'm not going to give it a wavy edge. I'm just going to give it a nice clean straight edge, I think. Okay, so this bowl is ready to paint now. I'm going to take the other one and I'm just going to cut a wavy edge on there because you might choose to do that yourself. And I'll just show you what I mean by a wavy edge. So I'm just going to cut down and up. Way the edge to it. Painting time. I'm going to squeeze out some of my paint onto the plate. And I'm actually going to mix in a bit of glue with the paint to make sure that um, it's all sealed on the top. So I'm going to take, take this opportunity to mix a little bit more glue in, even more glue. I'm going to paint mine to look like a watermelon because I love watermelon and summer's coming up. But you're welcome to paint yours to look like whatever you fancy. So inside of my watermelon's red, outside's green, and there'll be some pips inside as well. Whilst I'm painting this, why don't you take a moment to like and subscribe? Like that. So I'm going to 
wash off my brush quickly and switch colours to the green. So again I'm going to take the green colour, it's going to be the main body of the watermelon is going to be green and there's also some darker green stripes. So I've got my light green paint, again mixing in glue with it so that it's got a nice hard coating on the end of it. We don't have to glue the whole thing again, just mix the glue in with the paint and it dries clear. So don't worry about the colour it becomes because it's white, don't worry about that it becomes a bit lighter. And then we'll get this paint all over this and give it a good old mixing. So don't make it too wet and runny, but we'll get a nice coating. And any little tiny bits that are of paper that are not stuck down, you can use the painty glue to make sure that they're all stuck down. We'll get that paint well spread around. Okay, so I've got a covering with the light green. I think I will get um, my dark green stripes on now. So a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue over the top of the green is going to give us a slightly darker stripe when it mixes in with that green. So don't need it to be too harsh and definite, just a few stripes around there just to give me my watermelon flavour. It's up to you, whatever design you want to do is completely up to you. The watermelon's a great one of course, summery juicy fruit, but you can paint your bowl to look like whatever you want, a different fruit, a different thing altogether, it's completely up to you. Okay, so I've got two tones on the bottom there. You can still see the newspaper through a little bit, if we go over a second coat of paint that's going to cover it completely. I quite like being able to see a little bit of the paper through there. Adds quite a little bit of style to it. Okay, so I can't put on my dots just yet. I'm going to wait for this bit to dry. A little bit more waiting, but we're so nearly there. Once the paint has dried, we're ready to do some last touching up on the edges. If in case any of your edges are coming apart like this, and they're still not quite stuck together, we can just put a little bit more glue down there and just pinch them together. Just a little bit down those little cracks. I haven't got many of them and then you just pinch them together and they'll dry and I'm going to put some detail inside my bowl I'm going to put some black pips with the um, with the pen and you can do whatever designs you want with the pen and then we're ready to fill up the bowl with snacks So we've got a finished bowl, I've got my pips inside, I've got my texture up here, I could even enhance those lines that I have on the back just with a little bit of extra detail to make it look even more watermelony. It could have more glue on it, it's completely up to you. We're ready to eat some snacks out of this bowl nearly. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.